Hi, I'm Jessica, and we're here today at PCC's Veterinary Technology Program, and I'm here with Laura, one of the CVT instructors, and she's going to talk to us today about how to set up a microscope. Thank you, Jess. Um, so here at PCC, um, this is essentially the way we store our microscopes. Not everybody does this, um, and I suppose not all microscopes have this function, but the head of ours does swivel. Uh, some people actually do use the microscope uh, with the eyepieces facing that direction, and that's fine. Um, I just prefer not to do that. So to begin with, uh, one of the things I think is important is to get the eyepieces set for your eyes. They are uh, quite movable here, adjustable. So uh, it's important to get them set for you. Um, so if you turn on your light, get them just adjusted how you need. It is important to know also uh, that many of them here, if you twist on the eyepiece, you can focus one, one eyepiece individually. Uh, often that gets missed, but that can be really key into to making it focus. So once you get that set, a um, couple things to know uh, I, that I think is important. It's important not to uh, switch your uh, powers, your objectives, by turning the actual objective that can uh, cause some damage and wear over time. So if you use the uh, turret up here, that's actually the best way to do that. And you'll hear it click into place when you can get that in focus. Now to place your slide, you pull out the slide clip, put that on the stage, kind of nestle it in there and let this, uh, the clip go against that. It is uh, possible for this to either go underneath it or over it, and then you're going to have trouble moving and keeping your slide in focus. So make sure you pay attention to that. In order to get this in focus, um, it's recommended to keep it on the 4x or 4 power. Uh, use your coarse knob, coarse focus. That's the larger one here, and that moves the stage up in large increments as you turn it. There is a stopping point, however. So we can move it up, looking in the eyepiece to get, uh, to get it in focus for you. On the right-hand side of our microscope, we have little knobs. One moves the stage on uh, a horizontal axis and the other one on a vertical axis. So you need to um, get acquainted with the microscope you're using to know which knob does what for you. Now, once I have it in focus on my uh, 4x, I will rotate this and put it on the 10x. Uh, get it in focus a little bit more, and then I use this smaller uh, kind of internal knob there, which is the fine focus, uh, which get, does what it says. It, it kind of fine focuses it. It's important to just move at small amounts like this. If you find yourself turning that around and around and around, uh, you need to kind of rethink where you're at here and go back to using the coarse knob. Um, Turning it around and around and around can cause a lot of problems with the microscope. They're expensive to maintain, so you really want to use this appropriately. Keep in mind that the 100X, the white one, is an oil immersion objective. You need to use oil with that, um, otherwise you'll ruin it. The other one uh, that's important is the blue 40X is a high power, but it is not oil immersion. It's important not to use oil with that one. Uh, that can cause problems. It's not going to end the life of that objective if oil gets on it, but it can cause a problem. Other key things to keeping your microscope in focus um, are your light sources. Um, there are different ways to manipulate the light. Uh, so there's actually uh, the rheostat over here that increases the intensity. There's the diaphragm. Um, that opens and closes the diaphragm of the light source there. Uh, you can raise and lower your light source here. So all those things come into play into how, uh, how well your, uh, your culture or whatever it is you're looking at is in focus. It is important how you put this away um, so that, again, it stays in the best shape possible because they are, as I said, expensive to maintain. So make sure you turn it off. Uh, take your slide out, and depending on where this was, it may or may not be in the lowest position, um, but put it in the lowest position. Make sure that you have the 4x uh, or the shortest objective um, 
in place. And again, uh, I think it's important to uh, turn this and store it this way. And I feel that way just in general because it's most compact this way. If you're moving it, especially this is important, but even if it's staying in one place, otherwise you have the eyepieces out this way and I think it could be uh, a little more prone to getting knocked around. So I think this is a, a good practice. So uh, in general, I think this takes care of it. You can uh, choose to take the cord and wind it up if it has this here. Be aware though that if you wind it too tightly, you can have some, um, a little bit of wear breakage, you know, kind of around the, the base of the plug, um, and that's not great. So when possible, I think it's great if you can just leave it plugged in and not mess with that, frankly. But um, I think this and then putting the nice dust cover on it is, is perfect for putting it away.